Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox there's a link below in the description box there um, and when you sign up you'll get my free ebook which has got my top 30 excel tips hello welcome to my next video today i'm going to show you how to write a really small vba macro for excel to convert a range of cells that a user selects into lower case so normally you possibly use the lower case function in excel which is lower and then you select the text and that converts it. Today I'm going to show you how to make that a little bit faster and we can also reuse this macro again and again by saving it in our personal macro workbook so we can create any cells that we select we can convert them to lowercase with the click of a button. So let's get started. So first of all we need to go into the developer tab and to visual basic so I want to save this in my personal macro workbook I've already got a module inserted there if you need to insert one you just hit insert you just hit insert module the first thing we want to do is name the macro so let's call it And any of the code that we're going to write is in between these two lines of code. Excel's already put the end sub part of the code in for us. First thing we want to do is declare uh, any variables. And there's one variable in this macro, which just means um, Excel will allocate a memory container for the range of cells. So we're going to um, start by typing dim and we're going to say, let's say that our cells are going to be a range and we're going to set the cells as our range so whatever range of cells the user selects that is the range of cells that excel will convert to lowercase so the way we do this is we're going to use the uh, for each looping method so we're going to say for each cell in the selection and what we're going to do is if the cells contain a formula we don't want to convert those to lowercase we're only interested in the strings so what we can do is we can say if the cell has formula equals false, which means it doesn't contain a formula, then we can convert to lowercase. Convert to lowercase. And we end that if statement with the end if, and then close off the loop with next. So what Excel will do is for each cell in the selection of cells that the user has selected, we look at it and see if it has a formula. If it doesn't have a formula, then we'll convert the cells to lowercase. Each of the cells are looked at within the range and are looped through until the last cell and then the code ends. So let's test our macro. So let's select our range of cells, go to macros. This is the, the macro that is available in our personal macro workbook and let's hit run. And there we have converted our cells to lowercase. I'll leave the code in the description if you want to copy the code as ever. Um, before running any macro code, make a backup of your Excel workbook just to be sure. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. It all really does help the channel and I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.